Hey everybody, Dr. Nicole Friels here. Um, in the office, I have a lot of patients that bring in bags and bags of shoes, which I always love to see everyone's selection. Um, but a couple popular ones in talking in the tennis shoe line right now is Brooks, Hoka, New Balance, Mizuno's, Ons. Um, all of those are really good brands, but I want you to, when you're shoe shopping, think about uh, the right shoe for the right occasion, number one. Uh, also, what shoe is best for me? So, when you're looking at a Hoka specifically, you want to, you are looking for extra cushion. So people that have pain in the ball of their foot or especially to the bottom of their heel, something called bursitis, um, even plantar fasciitis, neuromas, uh, metatarsalgia, capsulitis, all that stuff. I think you would do really well with a Hoka simply for the support. Now, if you have a lot of ankle joint instability, extremely high arches, extremely flat feet, this shoe may not be the best for you. Structurally, it's fantastic in terms of my twist test. Let me grab a shoe for a demo. Um, I'll just use this one here. So, twist test. Boom. Move it. I really want you to bend it. Now, this is what I call a fashion shoe. Yes, it looks like a tennis shoe. Um, I love a throwback to the 80s. So, of course, I had to get these from Amazon, 40 bucks. Um, but I'm not wearing this shoe to do anything other than go to lunch or hang out with my friends. So, anyway... Do this with your shoe. The Hoka won't do that. The Brooks Ghost won't do that. And I'm going to do a whole other video on Brooks in general um, because I want you to understand the difference between, say, the Adrenaline and the 13 versus the Revell um, or kind of, they're just all over the place. And I have noticed cheaper Brooks, cheaper materials, more flexibility. So if you don't need a flexible shoe, which most people don't, um, you need to go into the higher end, okay? So don't buy the cheapest Brooks that's out there. So so Hoka, again, lots of cushion. Brooks, you're gonna get the cushion, not as much of the Ho as the Hoka, but you're still gonna get that added support and stability. Personally, the uh, Ghost 13 is my absolute favorite shoe for my high arched foot without foot issues. Um, so keep that in mind. Also, the New Balance, the New Balance and Brooks, I think even Adidas, they're all coming out with nice cushion soles non-flexible um, shanks or soles, the soles of the shoe as it um, twists. So it's going to be great for when you're running or lifting weights or whatever activity you want to do. Um, I think all three of those are great. Now, they're not all made the same. Keep that in mind. Okay, Hoka is the same way. You're going to see a Hoka that's neutral. You're going to see a Hoka that's for somebody with a flat foot. So make sure you're really looking at the shoe integrity itself. And look at for any angling of the shoe, set it on a flat surface and see if it's doing this or this on the sole. And sometimes it can be tricky. So one of the things I do, especially with uh, my patients that bring in their shoes in the office and they'll go to a local shoe store and say, listen, they told me this was for a neutral foot and I'll go on Zappos and we will get the details of it. And they'll say neutral to over pronation. And I'm like, there you go. That is not a true neutral shoe. So I would absolutely use Zappos as a resource. Also, they have a really cool chat box. So say, you know, you work at, I don't know, Toyota and you need a steel toed boot, neutral with all these features. You can text that in your chat bot um, and the person at Zappos will send you a whole list of brand options that meet your criteria. So highly recommend Zappos. Their education is very unbiased and unparalleled to anything else on the internet in terms of accuracy. So good job, Zappos. Um, what else? New Balance. So New Balance tend to be a little wider. Um, I feel like these shoes, these shoe companies, it's like a roller coaster. We kind of never know what we're going to get year to year. In general, you know, people say like, Nike's the best. Nike's the best. Well, Nike changes, distributors change, materials change, you know, and just because you bought a Nike, I don't know, 250, I'm just making a number up. And don't expect that exact shoe to be the same year after year after year. Okay, don't try to order them online. Make sure that there's been no change in the features um, that you're used to. All right, guys, just a few tips um, about tennis shoes. If you have a favorite tennis shoe, um, and this is just a couple or a few shoes I'm mentioning, so there's a lot of good stuff out there. Um, but if there's something that you have a question about and you want to reach out, just comment below. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for the notifications so you can get dropped in your inbox for all the upcoming videos. All right, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.